Batteries power nearly everything in our lives. Phones, laptops, cars, and even homes. But what happens when those batteries die? Each year, the world produces millions of tons of battery waste, much of it ending up in landfills or unsafe recycling operations. These batteries contain valuable metals like lithium, cobalt, and nickel. But they also carry toxic chemicals that can harm people and the environment if not handled properly. That's why battery recycling is more important than ever. But the process? It's far more intense, dangerous, and complicated than most people realize. In this video, we'll walk you through the entire process of battery recycling, from collection to recovering valuable metals. You'll see how batteries are broken down, melted, or dissolved to extract materials that can be reused. But we'll also look at the dark side of this industry. Explosions, toxic fumes, poor working conditions, and the serious risks faced by workers in some recycling plants. If you're into learning how things are really made, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers and your support helps a lot. The first step in battery recycling is collection and sorting. Used batteries come from everywhere, homes, offices, phones, power tools, electric cars, and industrial equipment. Some are dropped off at recycling centers or collected by special programs. Others, unfortunately, are tossed into the trash. Once they reach a facility, the batteries are sorted by type and chemistry. There are alkaline batteries, lithium ion, nickel cadmium, and more. Each one needs to be recycled differently. This part is tricky. Mixing the wrong types of batteries can lead to fires or explosions. That's why workers must wear protective gear and use insulated tools. In some places, sorting is still done by hand. Workers open boxes filled with leaking, damaged batteries and must identify each type visually. It's a slow, risky job that exposes them to corrosive chemicals and toxic dust. Before the valuable materials can be recovered, batteries need to be taken apart. This step is called dismantling and pretreatment, and it's one of the most dangerous parts of the process. Large batteries, like the ones used in electric vehicles, are often manually disassembled. Workers remove the outer casing, separate the battery cells, and take out wires, plastics, and other components. Each battery is built differently, so the process can be slow and unpredictable. But here's the danger. Many batteries still hold a charge, enough to shock, start fires, or even explode. If a tool slips or a wire touches the wrong part, it can be deadly. Some factories use robots for this step, but in many places, it's still done by hand. After dismantling, the parts go through pretreatment. That can include drying, shredding, or soaking the materials in chemicals to neutralize dangerous acids. This step also helps separate the metal-rich black mass, a powdery mix that contains lithium, cobalt, nickel, and graphite. This black mass is what recycling plants are really after. After batteries are dismantled and pretreated, it's time to extract the valuable metals. This part of the process is called material recovery, and it's where science meets some serious industrial muscle. There are two main methods used, pyrometallurgy and hydrometallurgy. Pyrometallurgy means using high heat to melt battery materials. The black mass is loaded into a furnace and heated to over 1,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 800 degrees Celsius. At these temperatures, metals like cobalt, nickel, and copper melt and separate from the rest of the material. The metals are then cooled and collected as solid chunks or alloys. But this method creates toxic fumes, including fluorine, chlorine, and heavy metals, which must be filtered out. In poorly run factories, these gases are released into the air, dangerous for both workers and nearby communities. Hydrometallurgy, on the other hand, uses liquids and chemical reactions to recover metals. First, the black mass is dissolved in strong acids like sulfuric acid. Then, a series of chemical treatments separate out lithium, cobalt, and other valuable materials. This method is more precise and can recover over 90% of metals, but it creates hazardous liquid waste that must be carefully handled. Some plants use a mix of both methods to get the best results. The goal is to produce high-purity metals that can be reused in making new batteries, reducing the need to mine fresh materials from the earth. While both methods work, they require a lot of energy, chemicals, 
and caution. The smallest mistake can put people and the environment at serious risk. Up next, we'll talk about the bigger challenges facing battery recycling and why it's not always as green as it sounds. Recycling batteries sounds like a great idea, and it is. But in reality, it's expensive, dangerous, and far from perfect. One major issue is the variety of battery types. Every manufacturer designs batteries differently, with different sizes, shapes, and chemistries. That makes it hard to automate recycling and slows everything down. It also increases the risk of mixing the wrong batteries, which can cause fires or chemical reactions. Another challenge is economic. Recovering metals from batteries is costly. Sometimes it's cheaper to mine new lithium or cobalt than to recycle them, especially when metal prices drop. That's why many recyclers struggle to stay profitable unless they cut corners. There's also the issue of battery chemistry. Newer batteries like lithium iron phosphate are safer and cheaper to make, but they contain fewer valuable metals, making them less attractive to recycle. On top of all that, many countries lack proper recycling infrastructure, especially in developing regions. Old batteries are often exported to countries with weak regulations, where they're processed in unsafe conditions with little environmental oversight. So while battery recycling is essential, it faces huge challenges that must be solved before it can become truly sustainable. When battery recycling is done right, it saves resources and reduces mining. But when it's done wrong, or without proper safety, it can be extremely harmful. Improper recycling can release toxic chemicals into the air, water, and soil. Acids used in hydrometallurgy can leak and contaminate local water supplies. Heavy metals like lead, mercury, and cadmium can seep into the ground and stay there for years, harming plants, animals, and even people. Air pollution is another big issue. Burning or melting battery materials can send dangerous fumes into the atmosphere, including fine particles that cause lung and heart problems. In factories without proper air filters, these gases often go straight into nearby neighborhoods. The workers themselves also face serious risks. In low-cost recycling operations, many don't have proper protection. No gloves, masks, or ventilation. They breathe in toxic dust daily and handle corrosive chemicals without training. Over time, this exposure can lead to chronic illnesses, organ damage, and even early death. In some countries, workers are paid just a few dollars a day to do this high-risk job. The good news? Battery recycling is getting better, thanks to new technologies and smart engineering. Some companies are developing robotic systems that can safely dismantle batteries without human hands, reducing accidents and speeding up the process. Others are creating closed-loop recycling systems where nearly 100% of valuable materials are recovered and reused to make new batteries. New chemical processes are also being tested that use less energy and fewer toxic materials, cutting down on waste and pollution. Some startups are even finding ways to recycle batteries without melting or dissolving them using low temperature or mechanical separation techniques. These innovations show that safe, clean battery recycling is possible. It just needs more investment, better laws, and stronger industry commitment. Many countries now have laws that require proper disposal of used batteries and ban them from being thrown in the trash. The European Union, for example, has strict rules that make manufacturers responsible for recycling the batteries they sell. In the US and Asia, new funding and policies are supporting the growth of safe, high-tech recycling plants. Big companies like Tesla, Apple, and Panasonic are investing in closed-loop systems that reuse materials from old batteries to build new ones. Industry leaders are also forming partnerships to standardize battery designs, making them easier to recycle. The future of battery recycling depends on these efforts and on keeping pressure for real change. So now you know. Battery recycling is powerful, but it's not perfect. When done right, it saves resources and reduces pollution. When done wrong, it puts people and the planet at risk. The future depends on safer methods, smarter laws, and better technology, and on all of us doing our part. So next time you finish a battery, don't toss it, recycle it properly. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're on a mission to reach 1,000 subscribers, and every click helps.